Coming up on Baseball in the Bluff City, we're going deep with another week of great diamond action. Houston and Barlett went head-to-head -head in a battle of unbeatens, plus the Soto Central is loaded with talent. Highlights of the Jaguars matchup with Alabama's Hazel Green. Elsewhere in Milton, we had a good one between the Trojans and Lausanne. These highlights plus we unveil the top eight teams in our great eight power poll. All this and more as we bring the heat on Baseball in the Bluff City. Hello, everybody, and welcome into Baseball in the Bluff City, your weekly showcase of local diamond action. We had a go to Milton on Monday, Miles Park, Trojans, and the Lynx of Lausanne. Bottom one, Lynx leading 2 nothing, but here comes trouble in the form of a sky-high pop fly. Lausanne can't grab it. Millington on the board. Top two, Trojans, Wesley Cully on the mound. He found his groove and he had it all working. Cully with a one, two, three inning, striking out all three batters. <laughs> to the bottom of the second, Trojans back in scoring position. Two men on for Mark Maber. He laces one right back to the pitcher. Ball goes off his glove and both military runners come in to score. Same inning and that same pop fly that gave Lazan trouble earlier. About to bite him again, Tommy Clifton sends one a shallow left and just like before it drops and just like before Milton scores. Trojans with a three spot in the second, they led 4-2. Back on the mound, Cully looking to keep his good start going facing Brad Bruckman and Brad Bruckman taking him deep to left near the warning track. That's good enough for a stand up double, but the Trojans get out of the inning unscathed. Cully registering another inning ending strikeout, still 4-2 Millington after three. Bottom four, Trojan bats back at it again. Chad Chad with lines one to left. He'll take two on the play. He will later come around to score in an RBI single. Milton scoring five unanswered to take a 5-2 lead. But Lausanne had a rally. Top of the fifth we go. Chad Partee walked and stole second. Chop of the third handled, but the throw can't be. Partee scores easily. Later in the inning, Lausanne takes advantage of another mistake. They score three in the fifth to tie it, and they score three in the seventh to win it. 8-5 the final. Lausanne's Zach Jordan, the winning pitcher. Elsewhere, speaking of pitching, we had ourselves a duel between Barlett and Houston. Both teams coming in undefeated, and both teams showing you exactly why. Top one, Grayson Hit getting his swerve on and getting his curve on. Hit coming off a no-hitter against Christian Brothers on his way to another tremendous outing. His counterpart dealing as well. Bottom of the end, and Colton Brumley did something very interesting. Walked three batters to load the bases. He also struck out three batters in the same inning. No score after one. Top second, more the same from Hit, racking up the Ks. Five strikeouts through his first two innings. Bottom two, somebody finally making some contact. George Sala eating up the shortstop with that one. Ball gets to the gap in left center. Sala sliding safely in the second. Same inning pinch runner Bryce Bailey in, bringing trouble on the base pass. Steals third, throw gets away, he takes off for home. We have ourselves a first run of the game. One nothing Houston. That was trouble for the Panthers because hit not letting up. AKA Grayson, no hit. Seven strikeouts through his first three innings. Bottom four, Houston about to add to their lead, cranking up the offense. Riley Hawthorne at the plate. He lifts one deep to left center. He'll cruise in a second with a stand up double. Moments later, he's coming home. Hayden Weeks, the RBI single, makes it a 2 0 Houston lead. Same inning, Mustang looking for more hit, looking to help himself, but a nice running catch, and right field ends the effort. <laughs> Top five hit finally finds trouble on the mound. Panthers with two men on, and pitchers start getting away. This one advances the runners to second and third. Later in the inning, bases loaded, and another pitch finds the backstop. Barlet scoring their first run, they trail 2-1. But the Mustangs put this one away. Bottom six, a man on for Pierre Seals. A Pierre going up, deep, and gone. Two-run shot gave Houston a four-run lead, and they win the battle of the unbeaten. 
5-1 the final. Other action, let's go to Millington. The Soto Central Jaguars on the diamond. They are loaded. They began the season ranked 13th in the country by USA Today. They took on Hazel Green out of Alabama, and the Jaguars score first. Bottom third, bases loaded. Hunter French delivers a base hit. Two runners score. Two nothing Jags. Hazel Green will come back in the top of the fourth. Runners on second and third. Grounded the short. That score was one run. They will tack on another to tie it at two. Fast forward to the fifth, a man off of Cameron James, a player, but he was playing no games. Going, going, gone. The Mississippi State commit rocking one way out of Milton USA Stadium. The Soto back in front. Later they close the door. K. Smith on the mound, shutting them down. The Soto Central winner, 5-2 in that one. To the mound at White Station now where the Spartans played home to Arlington on a Saturday afternoon. Tigers all over the base pass in the first inning. They put four on the board to take a quick 4-0 lead. Bottom of the first, Spartans looking to get one back. Men on second and third for Hunter Goldberg. He sends one to first. Spartans trying to get to the plate, but Garrett Brewer makes a nice play to nail the runner trying to score. Later in the inning, White Station would get another chance. This time, they make good. Josh Thorpe, the starting pitcher, helps his own cause. A chopper gets beyond the shortstop. Spartans on the board. Same inning, looking for more. Bases jacked, but Arlington's Logan Eldridge finds his way out of trouble with a strikeout. Tigers lay a 4-1. After one, top second, Arlington back on the base pass, and this sacrifice fly plates another. Tigers score four more in the second, and they cruise to the win, 10-4, the final there. To the high school scoreboard, these some of the most recent games happening on Saturday, brighten off to a terrific start. The Cards handing a previously unbeaten Houston team its first loss. The Cardinals now stand as the only team in the area undefeated. Other action, DeSoto Central took care of Germantown on Saturday and South win with a payback win over White Haven. All right, let's check out the first baseball, the Bluff City Grade 8 Power Pole coming in number 8. The Germantown Red Devils at 7, Tipton Rosemark Academy at 6, the Covenant Chargers at 5, the Dragons of Carnival at 4, the Barlet Panthers at 3, Houston, number 2, DeSoto Central, and number 1 in the first grade 8 power pole for baseball in Bluff City, the Brighton Cardinals. To the College Diamond, CBU welcomed in the previous number one team in Division II, Delta State. The Bucks beat the Statesman in the game, one of the series. They dropped game two, trying to win the rubber match last Sunday. Here they come. <laughs> Keegan Voss scoring on the RBI single. That tied the score at one apiece. But in the bottom of the inning, the Statesman do what good teams do. They answer. Great piece of hitting going down to get that one. That drives in a run. Delta State takes game three and the series 7-2, the final there. On the ladies' diamond, the Lady Bucks hoping to avoid the sweep against the Lady Statesman. Bottom four, Sierra Anderson helping with that. Gone. The solo shot pulls CBU within a run at 3-2, but not enough as Delta State brings out the broom for the sweep 4-2. The final score is going to wrap it up for this week's highlights. Join us next Sunday right here on the MemphisSportsZone.com, YouTube, Facebook, and the Amazon Fire TV app for another week of baseball in the Bluff City.